Hello, you're watching the Star News Update. I'm Aaron Raj. The Sidang Angel Borneo SIB Church in Seremban, Negeri Sembilan, is the eighth church attacked in an arson attempt early Monday morning. Police say scorch marks have been found on its main entrance door but has not affected the church interior. Negeri Sembilan Deputy Police Chief Dato Abdul Manan Muhammad Hassan says police were informed of the incident at about 8.30 a.m. He says a man who found the burn marks on the main door of the church contacted the police. He adds police patrol cars will continue to monitor places of worship, especially mosques and churches, to ensure safety. On Sunday, a convent in Taiping was also targeted while a stone was thrown at a church in Miri. The church, attacks follow, the church attacks followed a high court ruling on December 31st that Harold has the constitutional right to use the word Allah in the Bahasa Malaysia section of the Catholic Weekly Publication. Meanwhile, Deputy Inspector General of Police Tan Sri Ismail Omar Monday advises the people to verify information they get from SMSs saying it could be just rumours. Kita tak tahu asal-usulnya, jantung terdengar perkara ini. Tak ingat benda ni kita lalui dah, bukan, bukan dah jadi satu trend dah di negara kita ni. Ya, SMS kau dapat tahu, it is not the fact. The fact you want to speak is from me, from the police. Belik gerakan kita ada 24 jam. I want to remind this, orang ramai, please use. The Blade Gerakan MCC, Nation Control Center di Bukit Aman, 24 jam. And the state, the CCC, Control, Control Contingen Center. And DCC, District Control Center, 24 hours. That is the best place for you to verify all information. He was speaking Because to reporters after briefing representatives of 96 foreign missions on the recent church arson attacks at the Home Ministry in Putrajaya. Ismail says no arrests have been made over the church arson attacks, but he adds that the police have received a lot of information on the matter. At the same briefing, Home Ministry Secretary General Dato Sri Mahmoud Adam assures the representatives of the foreign missions that the situation is under control. Dan pagi ini kita telah memanggil semua foreign mission, perwakilan perwakilan asing di Malaysia yang ada di Malaysia ni uh, untuk menghari satu taklimat dan taklimat itu kita menyatakan kedudukan kedudukan perkara atau perkara sebenar uh, kita nak mereka faham apa keadaan sebenar. Biar mereka dapat dia buat dia accurate pictures tadi Sebenar Dan dia mereka boleh melaporkan kepada negara masing-masing Jadi kita minta uh, supaya pihak wakilan asing di sini faham apa kata sebenar He says it is important for the foreign missions To get a clear picture of the situation For them to report back to their countries accurately Education Ministry Director General Tan Sri Alimuddin Muhammad Dome says the ministry will not be making public its report on the Kuala Dipang Collapse Bridge tragedy. Alimuddin says a suit had been filed in court and revealing any information would be contentious. He says the report will only be revealed in court. He gives his assurance that action will be taken against those found responsible for the tragedy. For more updates, log on to staronline.tv. I'm Aaron Rush. Thanks for watching.